The ability to follow through on things, execute on what you say will be executed on, is one of the fundamental pillars of what leadership is, in my opinion. Being able to say that you're going to do something and then doing it is one of the strongest things that you can do, is one of the strongest skill sets that you can have. Because when you mention it to other people, and if they know that you're someone who follows through with your actions from the words that you state, that means you should be taken seriously. That means that you can be trusted. That means that you can be depended on. And if you can't have that kind of level of confidence and respect in yourself, in your own words, when you say something, then you're not able to create a strong foundation in whatever it is that you're building, whatever it is that you're doing, or whoever you want to help support. So being able to have that follow through means that you're able to do the work necessary to take ownership of yourself because you need to take ownership of yourself, your schedule, and the repercussions of what happens when you do and do not follow through. When you don't start following through anymore after you've had a good run, after you've had your habits in check, after you have your planner set, usually it's because you're, you took a few degrees off of, cor of the course as you were moving through life. So it's kind of like a ship when it has one degree or two degrees off, when it's out at sea, it's gonna go to an entirely different country if it just keeps going in that path. And that's what happens. So usually our own habits or our day-to-day -day changes just little by little. And if you don't have maintenance on it on a regular basis, either on a daily or weekly basis, and keep it on track, it's gonna start expanding and turning into something different, which happens. And that's fine. As long as you're aware enough to look back at it and want to change it back, these things happen. So when you are looking about your ability, even if you used to be good at it, but if you're feeling that you're not following through as much either to other people or especially to yourself, you need to be wary of what you get used to, either when it's positive things or negative things. You need to be wary of what you're used to. And so you might now be used to getting more lax. You might just be more relaxed. You might not have as much tension or as much of a push to get things incredibly sharp, do things in an incredibly sharp way. And that's certain seasons of life. There are other times where you might know you need to do something or you need to break through to the next level, but you're not following through. And maybe it's a new epoch of experience that you're looking to get to a new kind of plane and that happens too when you're learning something new it is difficult to get to these new kind of skill sets new kind of habits when you're just not used to it that is also normal that is also a part of the path so what to do for this for creating these habits is being able to have either an accountability partner create deeper accountability in yourself make sure you use your planners make sure you use your time to focus on yourself create the time to be alone or with people who will hold you accountable to or for you to be able to do have specific times to do these new habits that you need ingrained in you and be okay with failing along the way be okay with it not looking pretty be okay with it just being messy a little bit in the beginning because that's just like how all things are created it gets messy and then it gets cleaner neater over time but stick to your word Stick to your word and take it seriously.